InvestNet is on a mission to deliver a connected ecosystem. I'm joined by their CEO, Bill Krager, to learn more. Bill, welcome. Hey, Shannon. Great to be here. Good to see you. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Appreciate it. And yep. obviously very happy to be back in person here at totally. InvestNet. Your keynote was incredible. Really Thank set you. the stage for these next few days. So yep. talk to me about this intelligent life uh, vision that you have for InvestNet. You know, people's financial lives are really complicated things. And, you know, you have your daily financial life, lots of things happening, ins and outs, maybe more outs than ins. Keeping track of it is really hard. But then you've got this other financial life you're living about long term, what you're going to do. These things don't talk to each other. So as you connect the parts, you connect the daily financial life with your long-term goals, you can build the strategies that meet your needs to create a more intelligent financial life. And what I'm hearing is people want that. They want that connectivity. Absolutely. So how is InvestNet ultimately delivering on that? And what does that roadmap look like? Yeah, it is first and foremost data. So we have the most substantial data trove in the industry. We're making it smarter that data is powering technology, that technology is creating connection, and that's networks back to solutions, investments, insurance, lending, but also network back up to the largest set of advisors in America. So as you do that, what we're really building here is the ability to, to, to deliver an intelligent financial life. And you talk about data, obviously that's oil in the yes. registry, yeah, it's absolutely. like gold. Yep. But the interesting thing about data is ultimately harnessing it and making it actionable yeah. because at the end of the day, it's an asset but can quickly become a liability. People and firms have data everywhere and it is sitting there almost like in an oil field where it's not untapped, right? So our job is to bring that together for them, uh, make it clean, make it enrich it so that it's, it's pure, and then we pump that into our experiences. That could be a client portal, that could be advisor advice engine, it could be their business portal, uh, could be the whole entire ecosystem of investment. It starts with data. And how should advisors ultimately be approaching that? It, they obviously have to wear several hats yes, right now, right. and now being data experts, how is InvestNet helping with that? Yeah, we're, t today we're announcing our wealth data platform, and our data platform brings together an advisor's uh, or a firm's data across the board, business data, account data, compliance data, brings it together, enriches it, and then we'll publish it to the right spot. And what we're also doing is making, you know, creating insights Today, we will create 11 million insights for our ecosystem. By 2025, we'll create uh, a billion. That's a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real a lot. big number. <laughs> so what that does is it just helps an, an advisor navigate priorities, uh, needs that their clients have, and do it in a much more scaled, enabled way. So you talked 2025 already, but what else can the industry expect from InvestNet moving forward over the next three to five years? The, the business model is absolutely human driven. It, advisors matter. Connection matters. Seeing you is so great, right? Empathy and just the way you connect with people. But if we're powered by technology, if we're powered by data, we have so much more scale. And we can do so much more for so many more people. So it'll be more and more this hybrid model. The human advisor that is powered by a set of technology engaging in more precise ways for each and every person that they serve. And you can do that at scale. So in your opinion, what does the advisory practice of the future, what is that going to look like? I think first and foremost, just trying to aggregate someone's financial life so they can see their daily financial lives and understand their long-term goals is a great place to start because the industry is not doing that very well today. And that's incredibly valuable. Then what do you do about it? How do you build the strategies and solutions? They can't be narrow. They've got to be holistic. Uh, they've got to look at your entire financial life. And that's, that's, what, that's what's coming. Well, Bill, it is always a pleasure to talk to you. Always appreciate your insights. And thank you so much for your time. Shannon, thanks for being here. It's awesome. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely appreciate it. Yep. For Advisorpedia, I'm Shannon Rossick.